The dance community is mourning the loss of a giant. Judith Jamison was a star dancer and the former director of the storied Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater right here in New York City. She passed away this weekend at the age of 81. Her work spans decades. She may be gone, but her inspiration will live on. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson. She cared deeply about each one of you. Here inside headquarters for the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater. The mood is heavy, a raw concoction of disbelief, yet there's a sense of gratitude, knowing they cross paths with greatness. After a brief illness, Judith Jamison passed away Saturday. She was just 81 years old. Her deep, deep faith really gave her wings and it also gave her roots and he provided that for all of us. Former Ailey dancer and current rehearsal director Ronnie Favors first met Jamison in 1976. Ronnie tells me while performing at Lincoln Center. I ran off stage and she said, brava. And that was my introduction to Judith Jamison. Jamison joined the world-renowned dance company in 1965, was one of its most celebrated members. In November of last year, during what would be one of her final interviews, she told me about stepping on stage for the first time for Revelations. And as soon as I got on stage and the music is like filling on that, doom, 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 so I came running out, my face was like this, and after Mr. Ailey's passing in 1989, Jamison felt it was her duty to carry out his mission to educate, entertain, and uplift. At the end of a performance, when people go crazy and they're applauding or they're just, they're stunned, that's when I get you. She created the representation and she made a path wide enough for other people to walk through too and be able to see themselves. She could hold the audience in the palm of her hand with her words, not only her movement, but just with an eye movement or, or a, a pithy remark. The company will dedicate its upcoming run at City Center starting December 4th to Jamison, a generous soul in a place she called home. It's full of energy and light and laughter. This makes me happy. Kimberly Richardson, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.